flaming dragon. Okay, flaming dragon, fuck face. First, take a big step back and literally Welcome again to play mode. And today we will talk about the top 15 actors who became unrecognizable for a movie role. When an actor is able to completely alter their appearance for a role, that's really amazing thing. It is very difficult to lose or gain a lot of weight in a short time, as this is very dangerous for human health, because these physical transformations such as this do not come easy. Here in play mode are 15 actors who have shown insane devotion to their craft over the years, sometimes even risking their health in order to do so. And we begin with Number 15, Jake Gyllenhaal, Southpaw, 2015. The more you get hit, the harder you fight. I get it. Let's go! Only now you take <laughs> So predictable. Man. The light heavyweight champion of the world. Looking for a job, maybe place a trade. You couldn't handle the rules here, man. I can't lose my daughter. I am for How'd you like to fight for that title? Chance is there that Pope could win. The cause is stacked against Hope. Is it really okay, me? You wouldn't recognize Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie, after he put a complete muscle mess to portray his boxer, Billy Hope. In a previous role of Jack and Nightcrawler, he had lost a lot of weight, which is really impressive. Not without you. I'm gonna fight again. I'm gonna get my kid back. What? Number 14, Jared Leto, The Dallas Buyers Club, 2013. Congratulations. Fuck off and go back to your bed. Run in some kind of way. Get the fuck out of here. Whatever you are before I kick you in the fucking face. You got to Jared Leto went through an even more dramatic change. He beautifully portrayed a transsexual AIDS patient named Rayon in Dallas Buyers Club. Jared went through a major physical change in a short amount of time for the role. That's it. Right there. Get it. Get it. I got it. Number 13, Heath Ledger, The Dark Knight, 2008. We are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. You know where Harvey is? You know who he is? My father. Okay, stop. What? Hello? Heath Ledger, he did not make any right. changes to his body, didn't have to go through any sort of dramatic weight change to play the Joker, but while donning the clown Prince of Crime's iconic makeup, me. his actions and his movements made him a real Joker. Winning an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor Posthumously, his role is remembered today as the greatest performance by an actor in any comic book movie. Number 12, Eddie Redmayne, The Danish Girl, 2015. Could you help me with something? And mysterious. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Something you'd like. Hello there. <laughs> We're gonna call you Lily. <laughs> Lily. Eddie Redmayne took the role for the Danish girl, playing artist Lily Elba. It scored Redmayne an Oscar nomination in the process. The movie talks about in mid 1920s Copenhagen, portrait artist Gerda Wegener asks her husband, popular landscape artist Einar Wegener to stand in for a female model who is late coming to their flat to pose for a painting she is working on. The act of posing as a female figure unmasks Einar's lifelong gender identity as a woman, who names herself Lily Elba. Number 11, Rooney Mara, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, 2011. Uh, I could, but I won't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a story, and if it entertains you, Maybe you'll decide to help me respond to you turning up like if that. If you touch me, I'll more than alarm you. That won't be necessary. Your report, very detailed. He also says that you're the one he goes to when the job is um, sensitive. Rooney Mara, she also did not need any physical changes to become Lisbeth Salander in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. 
That said, she still looked like someone else entirely, sporting dyed hair and eyebrows, a mohawk, and a collection of piercings. Now he tells me you only do jobs that interest you, so I suppose I should be flattered. Number 10, Tom Cruise, Tropic Thunder, 2008. Flaming Dragon! Okay, Flaming Dragon, fuckface. First, take a big step back and literally fuck the fucking tits off. You wanna talk about trouble? That's trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck your own face! Now, I don't know what kind of Pan Pacific bullshit power play you're trying to pull here, but Asia Jack. Is Tom Cruise known for action and suspense films, but this time he played a comedy role and went out of the ordinary transformation in Tropic Thunder. He donned a bald cap, a fat suit, and fake hands in order to become less grossman. It ended up being a hilarious performance from the talented actor. And let me tell you something, shitbird. I've never even heard of your little agent. Number 9, Kate Blanchett, I'm Not There, 2007. The more you live in a certain way, the less it feels like freedom. Me? I can change during the course of... It's hard for a woman to play the role of a male character, but Kate Blanchett did the role admirably she completely embodied the role of the famous folk singer in I'm Not There. It didn't take much beyond a pair of cool sunglasses, a suit, a wig, and a cigarette to do the job, amazing. Number 8, Michael Fassbender, Hunger, 2008. criminal bombing and criminal violence. We will not compromise. It's a serious turnaround. Imagine losing over 30 pounds and dropping to no more than 127 pounds during filming. And a diet of only 600 calories a day. It's the talented actor Michael Fassbender in the movie Hunger which tells the story of the Irish hunger strike of 1981, starring Fassbender as Bobby Sands, a temporary IRA volunteer who leads the second hunger strike of the IRA participated in the no-washing protest. Number 7, Matt Damon, Courage Under Fire, 1996. It's in order! Please go! there's no one who doesn't like Matt. He's a talented actor, but before he became famous, he played a soldier addicted to opiates. Damon's weight loss for the movie was as impressive as it was dangerous for Courage Under Fire. Damon followed a self-limiting diet and fitness regime that allowed him losing 40 pounds over the course of 100 days in just two days of filming. The effect of the weight loss was devastating. Number 6, Jared Leto, Chapter 27, 2007. I'm Mark. Mark Chapman. I'm here to meet John Lennon. I can't believe I'm standing. Is he home? I'm good. Jared Leto having already garnered attention on this list for his turn in Dallas Buyers Club. But his portrayal of Mark David Chapman, the man who murdered John Lennon in 1980, in the 2007 independent film Chapter 27, is the kind of transformation that renders an actor completely unrecognizable. Leto packed on an incredible 67 pounds, at times eating microwaved ice cream with olive oil. The stress of the added weight would later force the actor to use a wheelchair during moments of particular strain, and when Leto finished the project, he was diagnosed with gout. Right here. Do you like his new album? His new album? Yes, yeah, silly. You should buy it and ask John to sign it. Number 5, Matthew McConaughey, The Dallas Buyers Club, 2013. Mr. Woodruff, you've tested positive for 
HIV. Woodruff? We estimate you have 30 days left. Newsflash, y'all. Ain't nothing out there can kill Ron or Woodruff in 30 days. That way, Mr. Woodruff. Where are you going? They got good meds out of Mexico. That's better than what you can get here in the States. This. Beloved actor Matthew McConaughey, Oscar winner of the Dallas Buyers Club saw the talented actor come all the way down to a meager 133 pounds. To get there, he imbibed a diet of egg whites, chicken, and a single diet coke every day. Thankfully, he returned to a healthy weight after the film wrapped. We need a new supply. Number 4, Charlize Theron, Monster, 2003. Right. You make sure that I have all of this straight. Basically, you have no experience, no college. Oh, see, I was, um, I'm sorry, but when I read the ad, it said that you were looking for a secretary. Okay. Well, you need to learn how to mean to sound harsh, but frankly, it's a little insulting. I see you're from Daytona Beach, and all of that looks great. It must be wonderful, but... but Charlize Theron won the Academy Award for Best fuck Actress you. in this movie. Yeah, Roger you. Ebert described the show me. as one of the greatest in the history of cinema. While Theron did not go through excessive weight gain for the role, she did pack on 30 pounds on top of a barrage of makeup effects aimed at turning the beautiful actress into the prostitute-turned-serial killer she portrayed. This included having her hair professionally damaged, her eyebrows shaved and bleached, fake teeth, and hours of makeup before each shoot. Number 3, Vincent D'Onofrio, Full Metal Jacket, 1987. D'Onofrio gained 70 pounds for the role, bringing his weight to 280 pounds. This remains the record for most weight gained by an actor for a film. While filming an obstacle course scene for the movie, D'Onofrio injured his left knee, compounded by the excessive weight, which required surgical reconstruction. Number 2, Christian Bale, The Machinist, 2004. Its danger transformation, it was the most weight loss in a movie, Bale lost as much as 62 pounds for the role, reducing his weight to 120 pounds. He had to be stopped by the filmmakers from reducing his weight down to 99 pounds. But I was intrigued by a perverse nature of mine just to see if I can go beyond what I've been told is actually safe and okay, and see if I could push the limits, Bale said at the time. Over the years, there have been unconfirmed reports that Bale's daily diet would consist of black coffee and an apple or can of tuna, the result of which would be under 275 calories a day. Number 1, Robert De Niro, Raging Bull, 1980. What I've seen in the back of the car was brother Charlie, a small-time racket guy, and it was something like this. He gets a title shot outdoors in a ballpark, and what do I get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville. I was never no good after that night, Charlie. Raging Bull. He was my brother. In the film, De Niro he plays Italian-American middleweight boxer, Jake LaMotta, whose self-destructive behavior is chronicled over the course of several decades. At the time of the film's release, De Niro's 60-pound weight gain was the most by any actor for a film role, but what makes the actor's physical change so remarkable is the extremes he went through during the course of one shoot. For the majority of the film, De Niro was required to maintain the body type of a boxing contender and only in the film's last scenes, which depict an older, overweight La Moda, does De Niro swing wildly in the opposite direction. These crazy actors gave us the best movies ever and risked their lives for it, so thank them for their dedication to their work. And thanks to you, too, for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.